Day one of the Summer Showdown starts right now, jumping into the qualifiers here in week number one, day number one. On the point for Checkmate, he's got the Nano, and you best believe he's getting killed. Lana boops him away, but it's not enough before the Shurikens end his life. There's a couple of seconds to go, the blade has been pulled. Checkmate kills both supports. He really pops off. Doge finally has it, and hits only Yaki. But is it enough? Yaki strikes through three. He must throw the anti heal, and Doge is the last one remaining. Not can he shut down the blade, but doesn't even have sights on him as the rampage from Punk? Pierces through three, and all three fall. Punk just got a 3k and might have just saved this fight for the Boston Uprising. We start getting a little fancy when it comes down to changing up the support lineup or even just what you're going to be using overall. Like One hour later. You can combine it. It's a very small window to try and get that kill, but... Whoop! <laughs> That's okay. He pooped super far away. Yeah, just a little bit of a neutral right now. Two hours later. This is potentially the longest out. standoff we've ever had in the Overwatch League. It's been a minute and a half. <laughs> Almost Might two be minutes. Two minutes here. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. Cool. Two Happy gets a little low. Thirty seconds. Two minutes and thirty seconds. Wait, no, oh, oh. they're wait, crashing. Wait, they're jostling. Wait a Posture? second, Popper dashed in. Here we go. First kill, maybe. It's been two minutes and thirty seconds, and no one's died yet. Nope, they dashed back out again. Now it's a three on three on the point of Victoria's going super low, trying to make a play with a blade from Backbone. Might be the thing that seals the deal. Remember, they cut the point halfway through this fight, and they managed to take the second round. Like oh. Pelican is a little bit uh, further ahead on the blade, but Ons picks him off. Here's the bot from Merrick first, a little bit ahead of Ons. We go to the cart, and it's five on four for the Gladiators. This could be winnable for Houston to three oh one of the best teams in the league, and it's starting to fall their way. Glass are down two, no rider, no skewed, but you have Kempster and you have a dream to keep this alive. The DPS do it all, and it's just on who cancels the bomb. Gladiators are still alive. It's Dredro used the beat at the last moment, and the Vancouver Titans have done it. They found their first win in over a year. Quite enough to keep him alive and well. Played for proper, nice deflect, double dash, double kill. Makes that a third, maybe? Yes, there we go. Ernie, the anti from the Rampage only catching two. Bernard, a little bit of pressure, but now can be healed. The Architect finds Fitz, Blade pulled out immediately. Gets in, finds Prophet, finds Smurf, and it seems like we are not done yet. Oh, plenty available on the overclock is popped, and the reinforcement of the health bar to do it. Uh, there is that uh, uh, No way, no way! <laughs> They've been wiped on the floor with them. Yeah, it's definitely where their strengths are uh, exaggerated, that is for sure. That's just kind of insane at close range doors, especially with Sparkle. Edison takes some free shots on the Toronto Defiant, who just lay down on the ground. That's three kills from Edison on height. And maybe a fourth, two kills. Feels like that's maybe like the second or third, maybe now the fourth. And Zest will also oh. get on the length that Zest will get cut down. Zest starting to come alive. For easy hunt, he makes it up for the opposite side of the wall. Tries to grab the health pack, will be able to do so, but Zest still has the damage out. Puts his attack. Oh, saying that, not a support, it's Speedly. Kai ends up falling, and it's just a slugfest. Oh, oh my god! No way! <gasps> no way, OG gets two boops there! Both Backbone and Hattie sent to the drink! The members of the Gladiators who are left without a single healer to save the remnants of the Gladiators! The champions of the kickoff clash in the mid season madness slain! Pinewick burning. Reiner will be back. Oh, he's actually still in spawn with the rampage. Left finishes this fight off, and Houston Outlaws have to Denied the reverse sweep by the LA Gladiators. Slap five on four for the shock. And Skew's rally is just not enough to keep the team going. And the San Francisco shock have done it. And less maps than it usually takes. Overtime goes away. And the San Francisco shock remain undefeated with a 3-1 win over the Gladiators. Attempts to contest here for Reiner and Skew, but it's unlikely to be enough as Hopper tries to peel back a little bit. Kempster's Blade's going to find the elimination on Twilight, but it is not enough. He eventually is forced to succumb now as Happy slides forward, trying to play Limbo, not Overwatch, I guess. And that's going to be it. The Toronto Defiant get the job done. And the Gladiator is getting served up a fast L. It's the go bump for the Dynasty. Tag comes out. There's the Blade. 
The answer is immediately there from Xerneas to bring the sound barrier. The Stalker still finds Jimmy. Vindane's going to cut through far away, and this is it. The Soul time. Dynasty going to lock themselves. The finishing touch. Alfie gets to the point. Dynamite there. Oh, That's going to hit multiple members. Shout counter. Bob goes in. Takes out Alfie. They're starting this point from a 4v5. Yes, they have the beat it's advance, done. but he's still over the point. Bob was the one who capped it for them. Thinking about capping, they just lose too many members. Shy is just fragging again. And yeah, he's over for great effect. That's two. Creates some space. Still keeping an eye on Dia. Has to use it with the left click. Dude, what is that dash? What's the dash? Oh, he went the wrong way with that one. And Zest picks up the lift and the carnage. Oh no, one oh Genji Blades, the other picks God. up three kills! Carpe and Zest turned it around for Philly. Yeah, he gets used. That overhead disappeared though. Oh, Kepsa with a humongous slash and dash onto Rack Attack. Three kills for the Blade. Make that four. Straight at Mirror. King of Mirror in trouble. Blade pulled from Pelican straight to the back. His fancy footwork looking like Wooks out here. Mirror with a four man rampage straight to the back. Lastro using the rally. Oh no, that overhelp couldn't get built up in time. Oh, they throw that support ultimate away. The Houston Outlaws ported on this second point in OT. The Titans managed to grab it. Damage the Philadelphia Ruby Fusion. Three. They're running low on members' choice. They want Gar grabbing the resets that he needs. Fixer needs to be the next target. But it oh, so no, it's for the barrier! No, Fixer, you didn't fix anything, mate! Oh, Bob the Builder's going to be mighty unhappy with this one. Choice C1's getting plenty of resets. His own blade's been drawn. Thousand folded steel will fold Fusion a thousand times over. Checkmate just jostled on the payload. There's the Nano. It's on Checkmate. Insta kill onto Fielder. One support dead. Now he dashes, tries to find another. That's two. Blade in 5%. Doha pretty low. That's three from Checkmate. Blade pulled straight towards the Diva. Harbit's the only one on the point for the Dallas Fuel right now, and he gets demecked. It is Geo's turn to touch, but RuPaul... Gonna be able to say here to contest the Hunters. It's the Hunters, though. Gagafong is a little low here. The Rampage, though, is gonna take care of Mug, be the nail in the coffin for Jinmu. Now Gagafong is low, doesn't really have an issue that really help them out because the rest of the Hunters get wiped out. Up from the Dragons, he comes online. They're gonna be able to move all the way down. Oh. But the shutdown immediately in his face. They knew the Rampage was gonna come. They were just waiting for it, Apple. Watch the cap. Come through now, Valley have lost that. They have to touch, but they have no members alive. Let's clean them all up. Let's Here comes the overclock from Happy. Can he get Speedily here? A little bit hard to track. The Genji, he found the head somehow. Speedily dropped in with crosshairs, it seemed. And now Hawk goes down. The Gladiators grinning from ear to ear. Ah, they what a fucked up day! Held on to. I think Paris would have loved to see that ultimate get used way oh, earlier. Look at me, oh, so low. Oh, no! he, Yucky actually got him in the air. Lucamino got booped up, used that B to try and keep his team in the fight, and Yaki just takes him to the skies. The replay. God bless Observers, thank you so much. No way did that just happen. Turns into a helicopter, dives off the edge of the Born doors. Robbers Blade to try and end it all and try and turn this one back around, but it's not going to happen. The Dallas Fuel are actually going to do it. They're going to burn the brightest they've ever burned before, and they're going to push that bot to victory. The Dallas Fuel have done it. They've halted the most dominant regular season record in our history. No! Oh! This is not how this was supposed to go. This round, we're on downtown. The overclock rings true. Two shots, two kills. Looking for MM3. He will find it and fit sends them to bed. For clock, here comes the blade now from Zest. He doesn't get the sustainability Ooh! though. What are you shut down by Shy and he finds Aimgob while he's out the two? Oh, what is Shy! Oh, he's still going. The back with a kill onto Void. Lip is at the back here. A couple of headshots here can change the fighting fight stalker. Gets himself away from Fitz, the Tracer has to take the long way round to go and contest him. Dinks him, lowers the HP, takes that slip, Lip puts the team on his back, and the Shanghai Dragons will take first place in the Summer Showdown Qualifiers. To stop the fuel, here they come once more as Calio's dropping down, but he's already been picked up. Bob was deployed to the point, but decay from low. Oh my! Serious to K! Three to try and save the day for the justice! And Geo's gonna fall to him as well! K's looking for the Genji. 
Krillin finds Edison. I think the body shot was involved there as well. The Dallas Fuel are getting absolutely steamrolled on the streets of Monaco. What is going on? They have sustain upon sustain. Admiral with a sound barrier, landed almost with the rally. To onto the fight, they need to survive long enough for Twilight and Chirong to be able to bring their own sustainability. No way! Oh my God. Go, the shot. They pull the blade to get the checkpoint. A trade you'll take any day of the week. But Kilo had an unbelievable hold from Kalouche. He hits four members of the Vancouver Titans, piling on the pressure. Four kills for the Junker Queen. But a struggling here for Fusion to be able to walk on fall. They really are trying to rely on M3 to maybe find an opening, and there it is. They get what they wanted. Soldatishi now down by one. For the double fusion can finally walk on four. Can they get more? They will get more, but Zest gets punished. So it's still a 4v3. Support opens about to come online. M3. Virtual to a further member and MN3 is just popping up. Three kills so far, make it four. The rails have been phenomenal here. MN3 on the flail. In either case, the kills do still come on through. Not from Zest, but Fixer gets one. Now it's to stalk his blade to come on through. And his blade has just been amazing so far. He already had Zest down early. Blade clicks through. That's, uh, what, three kills so far in this fight. Looking for number four. We'll probably get it. Profit steals. It doesn't matter. Assassin punishes Chorong. Sometimes Chorong will look to go pretty deep for those eliminations. Decay plows a hole through Hisu's face there. I like the training from Hotbar. What is this? <laughs> Oh, this is the big boss's house! You're just paying rent, son! Oh, you have time to clap! The Fixer oh, finds that one solo! Zesha down! Zesha is done, disrupt to find Zesh, steers MN3 with that overclock, one shot of the far way, does the trick, oh, and my. the Krog! MN3 is having an incredible round! Start now. That's it, that's gonna be it, I mean, Lip's not here, can't use the barb. Shanghai Dragons can barely touch, they probably won't touch at all. Maybe the Lucio comes up through Lee Jagon, is going to attempt to go for it, will pay for it with his own life. And for the Shanghai Dragons, who is up next? How can they even win the situations for this fight? They still don't have Void. They're going to run into this Rampage as well. Smurf cuts through, only finds the Yaki. Void gets a pick on the Doomfist. That's huge if you're going to switch over to an unorthodox pick like this for the Stall. Wait, Stall wait, goes down wait. They're turning it around! What is going on, Avril? They just need to find one more! Defiant need that Ash to be present in a longer fight, and now they're going to have to go in without him. Can up his ramp? Ah, it's five plays with the Rampage! That's just diabolical! In and as his last throw, American Chopper's down with one rail. But it comes too late. And here comes all though. He's big, bad, and bustling. And he's got four to his name. To stop the flip. Now Chio has to jump back on to keep this going. Fielder's around the corner. He stays alive. The rampage from Hanbin hits four of the shark. But Fuel barely have any damage. But it's Hanbin is a one man army at the front. It's really anyone's game. It's a two versus two. Sparkle around the corner. And Fuel are still alive. What scuffs things in the back line? There's the blade, the beat has been used, the backline assassinated, someone taking Garahisu, but Zermashin is dead, a rampage cancelled, oh no! Double support ultimates available from both sides, this next fight could get expensive. Here you go, blade and rally for Soul Dynasty, Angler doesn't get a chance to bring theirs to the party, Stalker. neither does Fixer. Fusion just getting demolished by Stalker right now. Here we go. Coming over the top, aggressive beat again from Vindane. Soul Dynasty using these on tempo. There's a rally from Prophet, double oh. support committed, MN3 still finds Stalker! And again with Prophet! Oh the God. final through MN3! Through to find three, fits under pressure, has to close down these sightlines. Who are you, Blade, is big! Both supports down! Gigantic. Make it Stalker as well! 4K! Prophet, that's the go button. Overclock triggered, takes one shot, beat from Legion gone, Smurf goes down. Doesn't need the headshots, the body's oh, enough, but he June. uses one wow. for Stalker, uses one for Vindane! So he's gonna go for it. It's huge. He finds four instead. Goes for the clutch back. Everyone's low. Dynasty have been deleted. The dragons will wait no more. They continue to stand as kings of this meta. They will take Circuit Royale and claim themselves a stage final. Time. Four players left for the San Francisco Shock, and they're dropping like flies. Sparkles played. Finds purchase and Harbin cleans off Kalouz here in the frigid north against all covers. The Dallas Fuel extinguished the competition. Take a bow, your summer showdown champions.